I'll never know why the jury didn't convict, but they didn't. But it made me understand I had to get better. The lieutenant walked over to my desk. Everybody was crowded around. Here's your first homicide, Quinn. This brother got shot here in Atlanta. Was up in Grady Hospital for about 11 days. The ambulance that transported his brother from the scene, for whatever reason, they didn't call the police because they had done some errors on the transport. They didn't see the brother was shot. Grady Hospital released the victim too early. He was only 11 days. He had five gunshots. He was grabbing nurses in the hospital, and so they got him up out of there. They just pushed him onto a bus. So the two chest tubes down in him, sitting here, the blood, you know, collecting in him. He went into full arrest uh, halfway through the trip. He just died. It took about six months to put all the evidence together to understand this was a homicide. And I found out from the 911 call, I listened to the tape, and it was a sister at a trap house dialing 911 for somebody shot. So I went up there to the trap house because I got to find the sister that called it in. I saw the little screen door had a hole in it. I said, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to wait till sisters come up to try to get served. And I'm going to take them back and I'm going to interview them and I'm going to play their voice against the tape I had. That's exactly what happened. If you're afraid of bullets as a cop, you're not going to get anything done. If you're afraid of the street, the people you serve, you're not going to get anything done. And here's the crushing part of that whole case. I put all that together. The person was found not guilty. I had procedure in my head when we went to trial. I met the prosecutor at the trial, which is never good. I never looked at the jury on that first trial. I looked straight ahead. I was a young homicide detective. I knew everything about the street, but I had never really been to trial. I mean, you don't go to trials as a patrolman, you lock them, tag them, bag them, it's over. I decided I would never, ever, ever put a case up for prosecution without getting inside that jury box. That was my life. So I gave the jury a piece of me. And after that, I never commenced.